in today's video we are going to discuss about slop detectors so slop detector is used for demodulating of fm waves generally fm waves of frequency modulated base okay so in order to recover our original information signal from the fm wave we can use the slop detector now why it is called slop detector we'll uh, we'll understand later but let us just see what is the basic uh, principle or what is the basic thing that we are performing in slop detector so in a slop detector so this is the circuit diagram of a basic slop detector okay it is actually having two sections there is a frequency selective network so this portion which is called a frequency selective network now the frequency selective network we are actually using here to convert the fm modulated wave to fm plus am modulated wave that is the original fm wave which we are receiving here see here we are actually receiving an input signal which we are actually converting to fm plus am wave that is we are going to amplitude modulate that wave so we'll be getting an output as frequency modulation plus amplitude modulation performed wave okay and after performing this amplitude modulation we'll detect that amplitude modulated wave using a diode detector so this portion is actually representing a diode detector or we can call it as a am detector okay so these are the two basic things or two basic blocks that are present in a slop detector okay i hope it is clear so the slop detector is actually having two sessions actually i'll draw it above okay so for a slop detector there are two major portions or sessions first one is a frequency selective network okay so the first section is a frequency selective network and the second session is an am detector okay use another color so this is a first block this is a frequency selective network okay and then after passing the signal through that is the input signal will be an fm wave right so our aim is to deco demodulate or recover our original modulating signal or information signal so the fm modulated wave will be first passing through a frequency selective network and the output will be fm plus am modulated wave that is we are going to perform an additional modulation there which is am modulation and then we will perform a am detection so while performing this am detection we will be recovering our original audio frequency or original message signal okay so this is the basic working of a that is this is a basic thing or basic working principle of a slop detector next let us see what is actually happening here so as i have told here you can see this is a lc tank circuit or it is a uh, frequency selective network so this is a input session and this is a this is actually an lc tank placed here see lc session here and it is tuned to a frequency f0 okay so i'm going to remove all these things here so i'm going to give an input here which is a fm wave okay so i'm going to give an fm wave here as an input so this is my input signal okay and this section its frequency consider that your input frequency is fc okay so the frequency of this session will be fc now this lc tank circuit here it is actually tuned to a frequency f0 and the condition of selecting f0 is that f0 value should be always greater than your uh, frequency of input signal that is f0 should be greater than fc so that is how we are going to tune this lc network so this is a tuned lc network it is tuned to a frequency f0 which is always greater than fc which is the input frequency and then there is an am modulation happening how it is going to happen we'll see with the help of this diagram and then we are going to give it to the diode detector which is actually an am detector which will give our original signal this more message signal or modulating signal now let us see what is actually happening here in this uh, that is why it is actually called a slop detector let us see okay so here this is the resonance peak of this lc session i'll actually mark it with a blue color so this is a lc tank circuit okay 
So for this LC tanned or this tuned circuit, this is the resonance curve. Okay. And as we have told, this circuit is tuned to a resonant frequency F0. So this is the peak frequency. Okay. And consider that Fc is the frequency of your input wave. We know that for a FM modulated wave, there will be some frequency deviations, right? There will be frequency deviations plus uh, that value and minus that value. So consider that this is that consider that the uh, frequency deviation is delta F. Okay. And for a FM wave, there will be Fc minus delta F and Fc plus delta F. So consider that these are the two points. This is the point where we are getting Fc minus delta F. See, this is the point. I have marked the value here. And this is the point where we are actually getting Fc plus delta F. So for these three frequencies, that is Fc, Fc minus delta F and Fc plus delta F, with the help of this frequency selective network, we are going to produce a AM wave. And it will look like this. See here. This is the resonance peak of the LC tang circuit here and as we have discussed it is the it is having a resonant frequency F0 and Fc is the frequency of your input signal it is that is the FM modulated wave it will be having Fc minus delta F where delta F is a frequency deviation and Fc plus delta F so that is actually the principle of FM now what will this frequency selective network do is it will produce a AM wave that is this it will modulate the AM wave according to this particular frequencies this Based on the selected frequencies, it will produce certain voltage values or voltage levels. And here you can see for Fc, this is the value of frequency. Sorry, this is the value of voltage. So this curve is actually in between frequency and voltage. So these are the frequency, this is the frequency axis, this is the voltage axis. So for these particular uh, frequencies, it will produce different voltage levels. This is Fc and this is the voltage level for Fc then for Fc minus delta F it is actually a lower frequency so for lower frequency the value of voltage level is also low for higher frequency that is this point is Fc plus delta F it is a higher frequency here the value of voltage is also high so this in this waveform you can see that it is a AM plus FM wave okay actually I have made it a small change here uh, to make it more clear to you, here the frequency is less, here the frequency is more, okay. So, the, there is variation in frequency and also in amplitude. So, this is nothing but a FM plus AM wave, okay. Now, this FM plus AM wave is actually given to your diode detector or your AM detector, which will produce your corresponding modulating signal value or the audio fre frequency signal or your information signal okay so this is the detection or this is the recover this is how the recovery is done in with the help of a slop detector so this is actually basic slop detector and the basic blocks present in a slop detector are there is a frequency selective network which is present here and there is an am detector which is this okay now let us see a little more advanced version of this slop detector which is called balanced slop detector so we have seen the basic slope detector it is having two blocks there is a frequency selective network which will produce fm plus am modulated wave so it will be performing an am modulation in addition and then we will be detecting the am wave that is then we will perform am detection and hence we will be producing our modulating signal so this is the basic principle of a slope detector now let us see the balanced slope detector it is also called frequency discriminator and this is the circuit diagram of a balanced slope detector. It consists of two identical circuits connected back to back. There are two tank circuits connected back to back. Okay. There is a input session and then there is a secondary. So this is a primary and this is the secondary session and it forms a transformer like arrangement. Okay. For the frequency selective network. So this portion is actually representing the frequency selective network. Then you can see there are again diodes which will be performing the diode detection or the AM detection and hence we will be getting our modulating signal. So the principle is same but it is little bit advanced than the uh, basic slope detector. Okay. So the, there are two tuned circuits connected in series here. 
and the inductance of this secondary tuned LC circuit is coupled with the inductance of the primary. So this is the primary and this is the secondary and hence it forms actually a tuned transformer like arrangement. Okay, now what is happening here? Let us see. So here the upper tuned circuit we are calling it as T1 and the lower circuit we are calling it as T2. Okay, the input side again there is an LC circuit it is the primary and it is having a frequency equal to FC. T1 is actually tuned to a frequency FC plus delta F. T2 is tuned to a frequency FC minus delta F. Okay, so we are going to we have already seen that how the slope detector is detecting the uh, waveform or it is performing the frequency selection and generation of AM wave. Here T1 is tuned to a frequency FC plus delta F, T2 is tuned to a frequency FC minus delta F. Okay, FC plus delta F is the maximum frequency we have already seen that and FC minus delta F is the minimum frequency. Now the FM input signal is coupled to T1 and T2 and this coupling is 180 degree out of phase. Okay, so your signal will be coupled to these two sessions, tank sessions T1 and T2 and these two coupling is 180 degree out of phase also. Okay, and again they are connected to two diodes D1 and D2 with the RC loads in order to perform AM detection. Okay, and the total output voltage you can see it V out. The V out is equal to the equation is V out equal to V01 minus V02. This is the output voltage equation. Okay. And let us consider how is this detection happening? How is the voltage generation happening? We will be taking three cases here. We have discussed that there is a primary uh, session and there is a secondary session. The secondary is actually consisting of two tank circuit T1 and T2, right? And this primary is tuned to a frequency FC which is equal to the carrier frequency. Okay, so FC is actually the carrier frequency and you are going to fed your or you are going to give your FM signal here and the frequency of that FM signal we are taking as input frequency. Okay, now we are going to take three cases here. Case 1 when your input frequency is equal to FC that is your input frequency is having a value equal to the carrier frequency. Now we know that this primary session is tuned to the carrier frequency. When input frequency is equal to the carrier frequency what will happen? The T1 and T2 which is again in turn coupled with this primary will produce same voltages. Okay, that is T1 and T2 will produce same voltage and V out equal to V01 minus V02 here V01 equal to V02 so this will be equal to 0. Okay, so this is the first case. So the primary is tuned to a frequency equal to carrier frequency and when the input signal frequency is same as that of your carrier frequency, the two tank circuits T1 and T2 will produce same output voltages that is V01 and V02. So your final output V, Z, v out will be equal to 0. Okay, so that is the case 1. Next, case 2. Consider that you are going to receive an input frequency. Your input frequency is equal to Fc plus delta F. Okay. So, we are going to receive an input signal with frequency or consider that the frequency level is now Fc plus delta F. So, the T1 and T2 will be producing two different voltage levels. And here, you can see T1 is tuned to Fc plus delta F. So, the value of the output produced by this session we are taking as V01. The voltage level or voltage output produced by T2 we are taking as V02. So here since input frequency is equal to Fc plus delta F, V01 will be greater than V02. Okay, So that is the condition. V01 is greater than V02. Okay. Now why it is coming is because input frequency is actually now equal to the T1 resonant frequency or the tuned frequency of T1. So, the voltage output of T1 is V01, which is now greater than the T2 voltage, which is V02, okay. 
So here we are going to get our V out of some values actually and here the voltages will be maximum voltage. Why? Because this is V01 greater than V02 and it is for a higher frequency. For higher frequency we have already seen uh, with the help of the graph that for higher frequencies we will be getting maximum voltage levels. Okay. So V out will be now maximum. Okay. Next, the third case. Case 3. Consider that your input frequency is equal to Fc minus delta F. So, this is actually a minimum frequency and this is the frequency to which T2 is tuned. Now, for this case, V02 will be greater than V01. And since it is a minimum frequency, V out will be now minimum. Okay. So, we have seen three cases. Uh, when Case 1, when your input frequency is equal to your carrier frequency to which the primary is tuned. And case 2, when input frequency equal to Fc plus delta F and when input frequency equal to Fc minus delta F. So, these are the three cases and these are the three cases in which uh, the voltage voltage level detection is done okay so this is the balanced slope detector now why this circuits are called slope detectors because we have seen that uh, with the help of graph we have seen the resonance peak of this of the tank circuit and we have seen that there is a resonance frequency f0 and then there is fc which is the carrier frequency to which the primary session is tuned to then there is Fc minus delta F which is a minimum frequency and then there is Fc plus delta F right so when your frequency levels is less than the resonant frequency so this is the resonant frequency so this is the resonant frequency and this is the slope of your resonance curve right so when the frequency levels are lying in this slope or when the frequency levels are lesser than the resonant frequencies only then the detection is possible okay otherwise the, det the detection is not possible that is for these levels of uh, frequencies that is for fc fc minus delta f and fc plus delta f it is actually falling in this slope right so for only the frequencies present in this slope the detection is possible otherwise it is not possible so that's why it is called a slope detector. Okay. So that is why we are naming it as slope detector. We have also seen that how the F, uh, AM wave is produced with the help of this uh, various frequency sections. How the voltage levels is also varying. Okay. So we have uh, seen about the basic slope detector and also about the balanced slope detector. So balanced slope detector is a little bit advanced version of the basic slope detector. Anyway, the principle of working is same for both the circuits. Okay. So, in this video, we have discussed about slope detectors. So, these slope detectors can be used for recovery or detection of FM waves. Okay. So, the principle is first we are going to take a FM wave as input. Then we will be giving it to a frequency selective network which will produce a FM plus AM modulated wave. And then we will perform AM detection and hence we are actually getting our information signal or modulating signal okay so i'm really hoping that you understood the concept of slope detectors it is actually a very important topic so if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching